Funding for the interview show with Mark Baser is provided by LifeWay, makers of LifeWay Kefir and other probiotic products, like their Kefir Cups, non-dairy sparkling elixir, and supplements. LifeWay, love your guts. Visit LifeWayKefir.com. Blogonitas, beer speaks, people mumble, except on the interview show. And Field Notes, vintage styled, made in the USA, pocket notebooks, journals, and stationary products. Visit FieldNotesBrand.com. My first guest is a singer who performs with the Decembrists, Nico Case, and a band called the Flat Five. Here's Kelly Hogan. We're both people for whom other people go around talking about us just by their last name. Hey, I was going to come up and go, Baser, yeah, what's up? That's right. I know, I like and that. Do you like it? Do you like the last name thing? I do, I do. For yeah. everybody, do you want everybody calling you by your last name? Or are there some people you're like, I knew you for a minute. Stop. No, no. <laughs> um, most people call me by my last name, yeah. and I kind of like that. Well, when I grew up, my first name is Kelly, and so I was immediately smelly to all my cousins. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. smelly Kelly with the big fat belly full of jelly in first grade. Yeah. And, um, and I don't mind it. I like, I like the name Kelly because it can be male or female. Sure. And I was always, I just wanted to, I wanted, I wanted the freedom <laughs> to choose. Yeah. But, um, but I, my dad was an army dad, so it was like, Hogan, get out in the yard, you know, 0600, uh, police call. If it don't move, pick it up. But was there a time when the kids started saying, Hogan's heroes? Oh, well, you know, check this out. It's a yeah. carbon dating thing, because you, you're on the phone, and somebody, you know, you're giving your name for whatever reason. And Hogan, like Hogan's heroes, and you get a silence. Like Hulk Hogan, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, and then, yeah, it's and then changed, there changed might even over. be people who, sad to say, for us, no, neither of those two neither. references. And the, what would be uh, the new Hogan? Pueblo Indian dwelling. It's all. <laughs> is, that a, is that a Hogan? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What other Hogans are there out there? I've heard of boobs being Hogans. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> and I, I, I met. <laughs> You know Patterson Hood from Drive By Truckers, his dad, David Hood, his his wife, Judy, <laughs> she saw me. <laughs> this is all going to be edited no, out. No, it won't be. Absolutely <laughs> will not. Be. And Judy was like, ah, oh, Hogan's, I see now. Anyway, the first time I met her, it never mind. Really? You know, I get yeah. it. It's no never mind. I, so I've heard of those Hogan's, yeah. and then, um, I don't know, anybody else got Is any? there like a 20-something like Disney star, like a tween star? That, because there needs to be the next Hogan. Well, I've seen comments on like my YouTube videos like, that's not Brooke Hogan, so it's Hulk Brooke Hogan's Hogan. daughter. Oh, yeah, the, so. the torch has been passed. I just want to be my own Hogan. Yeah, my own which, you are. Hogan. which you are. And what I really like is I used to nanny in Atlanta, and I know a lot of little kids here in Chicago. Little kids like to call me by both names. Hello, Kelly Hogan. Oh, that's that's my favorite thing in the world. Yeah. Is both at the that same time. That is good. Time. That's yeah. official. But Baser and Hogan, don't we sound like a buddy movie? Like, Baser and Hogan. That's what this is right a, now. We're attorneys gonna put in... at law. Yes. <laughs> what so, we're going to do is yeah. we're going to just have this no dialogue. We're just going to have like a, a soundtrack underneath what we're saying. Dun, 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 Baser and Hogan, attorneys at law. Yeah. Uh, you've, been, you've been touring all over the place. So how did the Decembrists yeah. gig you and Nora singing mm -hmm. with them? How did that come up? Uh, I got asked Tucker Martin, who runs Flora Studios in Portland, Oregon. That's where Nico Case, who I sing with, who I've sung with for almost for 20 years, actually. Yeah. Uh, we did. I did my vocals for her record um, that has a really long title. So her second record to go. Um, and so f the Decembrists record with Tucker, and uh, I guess Colin Malloy from Decembrists was asking about. He was thinking about. Leonard Cohen and his backup singers, and and uh, Tucker recommended me because he knew what I did with the Nico record. So I went and sang on their last record, and then Rachel Flotard, who was the other singer who's amazing, but she has two little baby boys, couldn't tour. So they said, you know, Hogan, do you know, can you recommend another singer? So they call you Hogan too? Yeah, okay. yeah. And so they, they said, can you recommend another singer for the road? And I was like, stop right there. <laughs> like I, so Nora O'Connor, Chicago's Nora O'Connor, she's yeah. amazing. And uh, so I got her to, to jump on board. Do you ever stand in front of the mirror and pretend you're another singer? A singer you love? Like I do, like I'll be in the car what pretending do you I'm, do? Well, I pretend I'm Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, you know, I just you stick her. And then, and then there's that no, 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 sad no, no, no. moment where I realize I love his underbite. Does he? He does have an. You're right. Oh, it's the best underbite. Right, let's see it again. 
Screen door slams. <laughs> Mary's red dress waves. No, I'm an underbite fan. See my, you should see my dogs. They have underbites. Oh, yeah. Do you do you do you look for dogs based on the bite? No, it was a happy accident. Yeah, yeah. It was a happy shelter accident. But do you you can sing? But I'm in the car and I'm pretending I'm Bruce, and then mm -hmm. there's a moment where I get sad because I realize that I'm not. You um, get sad? Well, I, don't, I mean, I'm like, oh, In your I, car? Well, Is it when somebody sees you? No, I don't care about that. It's, not, it's just the fantasy. It's, it's, the, it's the suspension of disbelief is over. Right. And that brings a, a sense of sadness. Like, I'm not performing, actually, in front of 30,000 people as Bruce Springsteen. Right, right, I'm right. I'm me. Right. In my Toyota. Well, at it's least it's not that bad. I mean, Toyota's it's it's got a no, hundred thousand miles I, and it's still going strong. I have a two I have a two thousand six Subaru Forester. Oh, yeah, those that, are nice. Yeah, it's those nice. Are nice. Yeah. I ate a lot of cereal to afford that car, but um, yeah. <laughs> it's true on the tour bus. Yeah. But um, I don't know. It, 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 but you can sing. So do you ever pretend you're somebody else, or you don't have to? I don't know. I mean, I, I well, I'm I, I'm a cover person. Like I don't write that that much. Sure. Like I'm an interpreter, so that's kind of almost like putting on somebody else's clothes in a way. Or or the song, seeing how far you can stretch the song, maybe and accessorize the song with whatever you're bringing it. I don't know if that sounds too crazy, but um, I don't know. When's the some? Well, sometimes me and Nico will be all like, we'll do the Whitney finger, and you get all nah, you know. So. <laughs> And yeah, you just you have to just not care. Not caring is is, is half the battle. It's a gift. Yeah. yeah. After a while, you you sort of become invisible and like menopause and stuff yeah. and, and then but then it's kind of a superhero skill. You're like, <laughs> yeah, so then you just don't care anymore. Can we talk about the flat five? You can. Please get me off the subject of menopause. No, no, we can. <laughs> I, I thought we were talking about flat five and then come back to menopause. No, it's yeah. all right. We need it. A couple years ago, flat five's been around for about 12 years. We've been playing here in Chicago. And um, Scott said, why don't we just, let's, let's have this band be positive. You know, I'd bring a, a really kick song to the table that had good harmony potential but it was sad lyrics and he's like why don't we just let this be our positive circle and I said yes because it's a challenge and and I was like yeah let's let's just do that let's have this be our MO Kelly Hogan thanks guys thanks